right? Let me make sure we we are live. What is up, people? Welcome to another Statue Live unboxing with me and my man, Junior Statue Collector. What's up, Junior? What's up, buddy? Another one in the house. Another choo-choo train. Yeah, man. We got another MC train stop, you know. Uh, just so we're not psyching you out right now. This is not the first statue that we're unboxing here. I mean, this, <laughs> this is just one that he had on the table that he, he wanted to share with you guys before we actually got started here. We yep. are definitely unboxing the Hawkman statue. This is the Iron Studios Hawkman unboxing. So if you're here to see anything else unbox, you're in the wrong channel. But <laughs> that's what we're doing. So uh, before we get kicked off here, I just want to let you guys know. I'll make sure we turn down the volume there. Uh, let me see it. Okay. I want to let you guys know that we have a giveaway going on uh, in cooperation with uh, Collector Zone. Collector Zone Cantina in Facebook, their Facebook group, is reaching 2,000 uh, followers. They're about to reach it. They're at 1,993, so they're only seven people away of reaching their, uh, their monumental goal here. Okay. And uh, what they're doing is they're doing a mystery box unbox, uh, a mystery mystery box, a mystery giveaway. So it's going to be anything from either sideshow, Mezco, Hot Toys, uh, Iron Studios. Uh, it, it, there's there's a lot of different high end collectibles that they have. You can be sure it will be a high end collectible, but I don't know exactly what it is. So the only thing you got to do is be a member of the Marvelous Knights group. That's our group. You can be a member of that. I'll leave a link for that in the description for you guys to get to it. And also be a member of the Collector Zone Cantina. I will also leave a, a link in the description for you guys to get to that as well. And there's a question posted in both of our groups, which is basically asking, what is your favorite uh, statue or collectible review that you've seen on my channel or the favorite collectible that you purchased from the Collector Zone if you've made a purchase from Collector Zone? So real simple. All you got to do is comment in both of the posts that are on the announcements. So they're gonna be at the very top of the Facebook group. If you're in the Facebook group, it should be very easy to see. You got my silly face on a woman's body. So that's something to see. You should just join the group for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that's it. That's all you gotta do to join into the, to the giveaway. So for those of you guys who are doing it, good luck to you. Thank you for joining the groups. And let's get back to the statue. Good luck, good luck to everyone. Good luck, good luck to everyone. All right, Junior, so what you got on the table right now is the Arkham Knight, right? From Yeah, yeah, man, from uh, the Arkham Line Prime 1, man. I've been I've been thinking about this piece. I was going to get them, but I was in a rush because I saw Prime 1 still had exclusives. Uh, so I'm just, you know, just kept looking at the website every other day, every other day to see, you know, if it's going to be low stock soon. If not, I would have grabbed them. But I was able to grab them, do a couple of payment plans on them, and I'm really happy about this piece. I really like it. A lot of swap outs, man. A lot of becomes Red Hood. Um, it's phenomenal. I actually love it. It's great. Yeah. Can't wait to put them with the rest of the collection. It's going to look good. When I saw that one in person, that's what I liked about that one the most. Is that it's like getting two statues in one. Because you got, well, it's the same character, but I like that you can have them in two different ways. Almost makes you want to get two of them and have it in one way and then the other way. You know, one yeah. red hood and one, one yeah. other. Yeah. That would look dope. That yeah. would. That actually look dope if you get them both two different ways. Because they, they also have the red hood, the regular yeah. red hood. And the one with the hood. But yeah, this would look nicer if you had two of them because then you can get them on the red. It's dope. Love that. I like yeah, I love the body. I mean, they did a great job, and I mean, they, they, this is good, man. This is really good. And then they have a light up feature. The helmet lights up, and the eyes light up. Nice. On top, I didn't come with the batteries. I couldn't find the batteries for it, but you, you have a little click back here, and you can change the battery by swapping out the head, and the batteries underneath. You can easy pull out, like the easy access to get to the battery, and then the lights lit up. Nice. So this, this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I can't wait to um, to put them together with the uh, with the rest of the line, man. Cool. Um, you know, this is crazy. You can, uh, I mean, just a little, little quick thing while everybody join us in here. I mean, you can show you guys right now. I mean, you can take this out right here. You can put this right here. Change your plates up around real quick. And <laughs> good madness. So if you guys haven't noticed, Junior's got a new helper in the house. Lazy Susan. I'm doing the spinning for him. <laughs> Spinning so, the tables. <laughs> <laughs> so I switched it over with the red now. And you can switch out his arms. You get two guns. The same pose that he has right now with that gun, the, the handgun. You can do an arm on the other side, and you can do a handgun on that side. Um, then you have a couple of hand swaps. We're going to close fist, open hand. Nice. Um, so. All right. All right. Let me give a shout. Let me give a shout out to the people in the group right now. And there's some confusion in the group because they're seeing Arkham Knight, and they're here for a hawk, man. <laughs> want you guys to know this is a Hawkman video. Iron Studios, one-third scale Hawkman. That's what we're here to unbox. 
Junior just wanted to show off the Arkham Knight is because he's in a show off kind of move today. Yeah, so, and I have these two white boxes you see behind me is that's where Hawkman is. All right, so <laughs> Hawkman's coming. So uh, let me give you guys a quick shout out to those of you guys who are in the group. We got 33 people up in the chat. So first up, actually I can see the chat now on the side. This is really cool. I actually like this little view that I got. Anyway, we got Triple C Collectibles in the house. Edwin Diaz, Sonny. We got Nick Chesh. I hope I said that right. Uh, Alan Kiefer's in the house. I just saw Alan today, and we took a look at the XM Studios Predator. That's coming this Wednesday, just letting y'all know. Ooh. Danny Ferreira's in the house. Vic is in the house. Big D is in the house. Yo, we got an early video today for Big D. Big D usually can't make it to these things. I know. He says he's up. My so. old man is sleeping, bro, so he, he's still awake. So that's what's up. We got bro. Area 51 in the house. Can you give a shout? I'm going to move the statue out the way. All right, all right. Go ahead. We got uh, 90 MF Comics in the house. Chad is in the house. I miss you, Chad, bro. Miss you, bro. Uh, pretty soon we'll come back with that geek show and we'll have all the all, we'll have to catch up on all the comics. Uh, Mashari's in the house. We got uh, James McLam. We got N. Sab N. Sabanor. I know there's a reference there. Um, all right, and uh, 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 Collector Zones in the house. What's up, man? Uh, David Big Dog Ramy Ramy Slim Boss. They got the Indo Nerd. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephen Lillywhite. Congrat, congrat. I mean, thanks guys for joining us. We got 43 people up in the chat. Do me a favor, guys. Please hit the thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We do a lot of statue unboxings if you're into that. Me and Junior, we, we knock these things out like it's going out of style. And um, we do all kinds of other stuff too, man. You got uh, Seth in here. Seth's an awesome personality to watch. That dude is a crazy man. Loves his Funko Pops. He's the wild man. He's the, he's the Messiah of Monday nights. So self-proclaimed. So, Junior, man, where you at, bro? He's still not back. I see his jeans, though. All right. So, guys, I don't know if you guys have tuned in for the last live video. We did one on Friday. Uh, and in that video, I was telling you, I was telling everybody that was on that channel, on the video, that I'm in the process of a room remodel. So that's why this is not my usual backdrop. The whole place is a freaking mess. My OCD is kicking in. Get the highs when I walk in here right now. But I got to keep these live videos going for you guys. Junior keeps getting pieces in, so I want to make sure you guys get to see these things as they come in. Um, and I'm going to be putting out a few of my own statue uh, videos, statue reviews, real soon, actually. I got a couple coming in this week. And my wife is giving me the green light to do it in the kitchen. Not the kitchen, uh, the dining room. Got a nice wooden table there for these people that like to complain to me about my shaky table all the time. So hopefully they'll be happy and I'll get a thumbs up from them. But, um, yeah, that's what's going down. Junior, you back yet, bro? Go on, yo, man. What are you doing? He can't hear me right now. All right. All right, you uh, done? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm done. Okay. All right. So, well, are we ready for this, uh, book man or what? I'm, I'm sitting here. I've been, I've been trying to talk to people, you know, and I'm running out of things to say. You know, I'm stalling so for you, bro. Home, you miss them, you know. I'm stalling. You see everybody at the con. Explaining to them my mess and all they're, all they're chanting right now is, Hawkman, let's get this on. We don't want to hear from George. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sleep already? All right. Let's do like, this. I need to come here to see you, bro. <laughs> wow. All right. So, wow. Okay. David, welcome to the first Monday night live show. Our normal live show is that geek show. So um All right, make sure you tune go. in for that when we get back in line. This is one of the wings, bro. Ponyo. It's like you got a baby bird. You, I feel like I just caught a freaking American Eagle. Jesus. This is humongous, bro. Bro, you can probably like put that up to some leather straps and you can use them for cosplay. Wow. For real, man. Look at this. Oh my God, that thing's big. <laughs> Look at this. Jesus Christ. Wow. That is huge. Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to figure this out because I can't take the base out unless I take out the wings out first, so. So what, the wings are on top of the base? Well, yeah, you have to like get this out first. Give me one second. <laughs> All right. Ugh. All right, that's one wing there. Some big ass mic over here. here. Dark Ranger 7, what's up, bro? All right. There goes the other wing. Damn, bro. This is crazy. 
Dark Ranger says that he's been looking forward to the statue review. He's not a huge Hawkman fan, but the statue looks incredible. I yeah, the statue's incredible, bro. Dude, man, I'm telling you, you could use these wings for cosplay, bro. For real, man. Like if an you angel. put them on, you look like one of the Victoria's Secret models. Like an angel. <laughs> look at this. God. The other one, too. Damn. Wow. Look at that shit, dude. Wow. That is big. Yeah. So if you guys don't know already, we do statue reviews on this channel. We do other things, too. But this this is a statue review uh, video, our, our, uh, our segment. This is not for kids. You do not buy... A $2,000 statue, a $1,000 statue, a $700 statue for a kid. This is for us adults who haven't grown up yet. <laughs> oh, wow. This face is your mom and George, too. Shit. Dude, you're going to need a bacchiatomy after this. Wow. Yeah, this is... This is... Damn. Man, that is a lot of bass. Yeah, it does, dude. Watch your to you right now, bro. Wow. Father needs it with those wings. Got the troll in the house. What's popping? Hey, Seth's in the house. What's up, Seth? What's up, Seth? Look at the base, dude. All right. So uh, we had somebody ask. Sonny, uh, Sonny says, are they heavy? Look at Junior's face as he's holding that. This he's is like, freaking heavy, dude. This is heavy right <laughs> here, bro. You're gonna have to play that back as you're lifting it up, bro. <laughs> let me uh, let me turn that off here. Your face as you're pulling. I thought you were gonna pull a oh. muscle. <laughs> look at this thing, bro. I mean, look at it. How much did this thing cost, bro? Fifteen. I think it was fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. I think so. I don't remember. You can check that out for me. Double check. How much was the, how much was the shipping on it? Actually, it was a hundred dollars, bro. What? A hundred dollars or two boxes. $100 for two boxes, 50 bucks a box. And it's kind of bugged me out because Deathstroke, mm -hmm. I was going to get them out, but I said I put them on a payment plan. They wanted $300 for shipping. God damn. I was like, you got to your mind. How is that possible? I think because, you know, they're not doing business with Prime. I think they're just trying to screw you now. Okay, so Junior got the version with the open and the closed one, right? Yep, both versions. Both versions. So, yeah, it's $14.99. And right now, it's currently waitlisted. So if you guys are looking to get this, you're gonna be jumping on the wait list. And it could be something that collect uh, Marcos Collector Zone is in the chat. Are you able to get this anymore, or is it wait listed for you as well? Yeah, Norman, two junior uh, two junior videos in less than one week. I need to play the lottery. <laughs> okay, this is the open wing. Oh, man, Mashari paid $510 shipping. What? Damn. What's up, man? Love it, man. Congrats on yours, man. This is freaking looking amazing so far, bro. Look at these. This is the open wings, bro. How heavy are the wings, bro? They're pretty. They're they're not heavy. They're actually they uh, they're good material. They're like uh they're like their PVCs kind of like good, but it's good material. It's heavy. They got a little weight to them, which is great because I don't think this sculpted, bro. <laughs> okay. This thing will freaking weigh tons, bro. You have to make the back metal for this does it feel like pvc though like is it flexible no no it... no it feels okay. no 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 it feels, it feels very sturdy it feels, sculpted. it feels sculpted all right so maybe it's just a, a different blend of resin to make it lighter nice see damn those wings are big yeah, look at that dude i'm on this is look, look at this I'm wow samurai's in the house he says holy shit <laughs> this is dope dude all right the addition size was 300 on this wow was 200 on the open and close, I think it was, wasn't it? 200 on the open and close? The open and close. I just closed that page, man. I don't, know, I don't have it open anymore. Let's find out again. Doing the research here. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. All right. So on the... This is 200. For this, for this one. Wow, that is a super low edition size. Yeah, two hundred for the exclusive wing or both of them. The two hundred for the for the dual wing. If you want an open wing, they made forty of those. Wow. And and one hundred and thirty on the closed wing. 
Jesus, man, that is a very low addition size on all of that. That's yeah, that's that's, that's all, insane all on all of them. That's got to be like the lowest addition size I've ever seen in, uh, from a studio. I, I still usually have a low addition size when it comes to the big stuff. They, well, mean, they do I, have low addition sizes even on their other stuff. Like I remember when I when I was collecting their, um, I was I was I started to collect their their Civil War line. They had like a set that connects as a diorama on a quarter scale, and the Captain America I had 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 a really low addition size also. I want to say it was under seven hundred. Yo, get the fuck out of here! This spear is completely steel. <laughs> Yo, that's a spear. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the fucking spear, dude. Wow. Your kid's gonna run in there one of these days and grab it and <laughs> look at this thing, bro. Yeah, it's huge. God damn, that thing's big. Yo. Dude, you could kill somebody with this thing. Yeah, yeah. Red wow. Hood's in the house. Yo, Red Hood. I just Red Hood says he paid a hundred shipping for Batman Hush and I live an hour away from Sideshow. I paid two hundred for shipping on Batman Hush. But only a hundred for the Superman hush. That makes no sense. And both of them were sculpted kit. Oh wow! Look at the spear gets bigger. You put this piece after you slide it through his hand. What the hell? <laughs> I don't see what the hell this goes to. It has to go to somewhere. Does it come with instructions? I think the spear goes through there. Yeah. No. Let's see what this goes through. I think it might be going to the top of his hand. I'll double check that. And that goes, that's, oh, that's for the that's for that mallet he carries. That's what it is for. Wow, this thing is metal too. You heard? Wow. Damn. This thing right here. This thing is metal, dude. <laughs> well, if you ever have thing, somebody break in your house, metal. you can use that as a weapon. <laughs> wow, this thing is crazy, bro. Area 51 in the house, Boom Jask in the house. What's up, guys? We got 75 people watching. Please hit the thumbs up as that does help us out a lot. We appreciate it. Okay, and this goes at the bottom of this. Okay, this is the bottom of the spear. Thumbs up, let Junior know that he's doing a good job. Well, thank you. This is my boss, I'm telling me that. <laughs> you know, got to hear it from everybody else. All right, so now. Pro says, Junior, going for a one-to-one -one scale. That's coming. <laughs> Statue room, too. When he gets a bigger room, he's going to get a one-to-one -one scale. Watch. Not for nothing, man. If I could afford it, I'd have a one-to-one -one scale Vader in my room. Love that thing. Or at least the, the, the Han Solo on Carbon. I think the thing is dope, too. Big D is saying he wonders if Iron Studios will make a hot girl to go along with this. I you know, know what? He read my mind, bro, when I bought this piece. Man, you would want a hot girl in the same scale? The thing That's is big. Right. Yeah, it's like, right. like a baby. Yo, look at this thing, bro. Yo. Jeez. Yes, it's on scale, too, man. It's all one piece. This is crazy. All right. So this goes like this. So the hands don't switch out at all, huh? No, just the it's wings. All piece, too. Yeah. That's crazy. Yo. Bat in the North is in the house. Yo, get the fuck out of here, dude. What's up, Dan? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Jay Campos is asking, is this going to fit on screen? You may have to zoom out a little bit. <laughs> Yo, look at that mallet right there, dude. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Got 83 people watching. Wow. <sighs> okay. Oh, wow. We might have a problem here, dude. What's up? You hitting the ceiling? No, I can't put the spears in the ceiling. <laughs> the spears hit in the ceiling? <laughs> really? Gonna, I won't be able to do it for you guys, but get the get are the you, just. <laughs> are you kidding? The, yeah, it's the ceiling, dude. Look. Oh my god, bro. Wow. Look, I can't get it in his hand. Man, that's crazy. Nope. Can't get it in there. I'm gonna have to put him on the floor and then Well, doesn't the doesn't the spear separate? 
Or no? No. It's one piece. It just slides in, huh? Mm, it slides in that you put the little cap at the end. See? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I won't be able, even if I put them off that table, it still won't be able to do it. Wow. Yeah. Good thing this is going on the lower shelf. Oh man, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. It's, uh, it's actually. I think this is forty inches to the top of the spear. Man, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's do, let's do the open wings first. How about Mashari, that? Mashari thinks that if you take it off the lazy Susan, but I no, don't know, man. Show, I already looked at it. Okay. I, I looked at it, and it looks like. Now it looks like he's just giving a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, this is. Sure Slimboss right. says, wow, huge ass statue. Yeah, it is huge. It's like a lawn ornament. This is going to be tough, dude. You're going to put those out there to scare the, uh, the crows away. Yeah, this is going to be tough, dude. Woo. So what's the deal with the with the wings? How? It's just I don't want to cause too much pressure on them, but right. Yeah, there we go. I got the first one in. Boom. Whew. All right. Wow. Damn. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Holy crap. Paolo is in the house. What's up, man? All the way from Reykjavik, Iceland. I hope I pronounced that right. Iceland, man. I've always wanted to go to Iceland. I want to go to Iceland. I want to go to Ireland. I want to go to Scotland. All right. There you go, bro. You can't even see me now. <laughs> All right. Let me get the... I got to put the sword. Big. The sword goes in there. There's a sword? Mm-hmm. Gotta see what this goes though. We got 94 people up in the chat. Please give us a thumbs up. Let Junior know he's doing a good job. He's working his ass off right now trying to put this thing together. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I am. I just want to know how this guy said he put the sword in here. <laughs> set this set this thing in on the wings of love. <laughs> I don't know how he did the wings here. I don't know how this sword goes. Is Nashari there? Because he did it. Yeah, Mashari's still in the chat, I think. Yeah, man. You want yeah. the statues I put up against the wall and make sure nobody touches it because that wing. See, oh. see myself clipping it by accident. Oh, so this thing. Come on, he clips off here. I see it. Yeah, I know what I gotta do here. All right. And this is, yeah, man. I don't know how to put this sword in his thing there. I'm trying to figure that one out right now. I don't know if there's anything else coming in the box. Let me see. Liano Collection is in the house. What's up, man? Vic, I wish I could fit this in my cave also. I'm trying to see. Sword there. If I brought this home, I would need some wings to fly away from my wife. Let me see something. <laughs> Kicking my ass the whole way. <laughs> watching. That's crazy. 101 people watching, bro. Nice, man. Uh, um, let me see something here. Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take a picture. I want to see uh, if I see a picture up in Sideshow's website on the side of this with the sword there. Slim Boss says the Hawkman is a man's man statue. Makes a one third Joker look like a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see something. I agree, Dark Ranger. This statue must have a record for for the most real estate taken. Yeah, this thing, dude. This just became one of my favorites, dude. Like this is one of my best pieces now. Mm -hmm. Let me see something here. Shari says there is a hole in the sword insert uh insert the o-ring 
Is there like an, an O-ring, a hole for the sword holder, something like that? Yeah, but this looks too close. So then what he did to do it, did he did he go back on it or this is or the how he how he inserted did he unlocked it? Because this this not letting me and I don't wanna is it, right one of those, is it one of those things that you gotta put the sword in before the wings? No, it's not even that. Even if I tried that way, you the, the O ring does not work. So I think I gotta there's like a little snap here. I think that I gotta maybe push down the o-ring to open up the o-ring norman's asking if there's a picture on the box or he's saying look at the picture on the box yeah that's what i've been trying to do here but i don't want to go ahead and mess it up here because i don't brian papini's in the house yeah because it looks it goes on his waist so it goes like this guys now, make sure make sure you check out brian's uh, instagram page he has some really awesome photographs of statues the guy did some great work because this doesn't fit through the o-ring he says open the o-ring gently yeah so you have to open it right that's what mashari is saying he's saying open it gently though to the o-ring on hawk's waist okay so you open how do you open it do you just oh, okay how do you open this o-ring do you, do you just pull back do you push up and down on it Ronald says, take your time and do it off camera. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. For now, I'll leave it. But this sword's supposed to go here, and I'll mess with it later. Will you see? Like that? Yeah, like this. Okay. You see? Yeah. Yeah, because I got to mess with it, and I got to take the wings off and stuff like that, too, because I got to make sure I open up this O-ring first, because it looks like I got to do the O-ring, and I guess when you open the O-ring, then you strap it around the the the, 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 the sword again. Feel you. All right, so let's uh, give you a, a look on the back. I'm gonna. Do you wanna? Do you wanna zoom in on this right now and then change it to the other rings, or what do you wanna do? Uh, let's leave it up to the group. What do you guys think, man? Do you wanna zoom in and check it out like this, or do you wanna go to the, the closed wings before we start zooming in on it? Let us know in the chats. I agree, highly. A comic bro, what's up, man? Yeah, like this shit play. is crazy. We unboxing small children with wings. Yeah, this thing is not fucking budging. Just let it go, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, All right. do, do like Frozen. Let it go. So you want to do what? So then, what you want to do here? Maybe for people to say what, what's up in the chat, man. Let me know. Wow, the statue is official. Centerpiece. Yes, it is. <laughs> Freaking Zach. Just relax. They're saying. Bro, I ain't going nowhere to go. I ain't yeah, got no I know. <laughs> I, I probably would say go to closed wings because, I mean, the only difference between closed and open is just the detail on, on the wings. Probably make it easier for you to, to get around, too. Okay. Dude, this thing, they made these things so tight in there, bro, to take off the wings. Mm -hmm. Which I, I like that they did that. Yeah, because they don't want those things to fall. Mm-hmm. That is freaky as hell, bro. Huh. That's scary. What was that? That's the the, the belt. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, see? Whew. Whew. Yeah, man. This thing is as long as you display it, keep it the way it is. How are you going to display it? Oh, one open wing and a closed wing? Or are you going to do... I'm going to do both. And do both? In fact... Why don't you just put one of the closed wings on, leave the open wing on, and then that way when we when we come around, you can see the detail on either wing. Because they're probably the same, right? Huh? Yeah, they're probably the same. Yeah, you want to do that or you want to change it uh, to closed wings? Closed wings. Go closed wings. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> Divine is in the house. Rahu is in the house. This is making me so nervous. It is, bro. I'm nervous. My, my nails right now watching him take those wings off. Yeah, this thing, they made them tight, man. Make sure this thing ain't going anywhere. I'm just wiggling it back and forth nice and easy. That's why I'm taking my time. <laughs> Ronald's saying heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> Paul is asking, what is the weight of the statue? Looks heavy. I would say heavy as fuck. It's heavy. Yeah. 
Paul, there's, there's heavy, there's light, there's in the middle, and then there's heavy as fuck. This is what this one is. Heavy as fuck. What you got to do with this is put a little bit of a lube on these things to slide them in nice and easy back and forth. Mm. There's so that. many sexual windows that can hit this. <laughs> I've been like holding myself in this whole time, but I'm like, man, you just keep on pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's try this one now. <laughs> Seth says, Let, I say, let's just wing it and see what happens. <laughs> wow. I actually like the clothes too, man. Wow. Wow. I like the clothes wing better, actually. I like it too. I mean, I saw Mashari's post where he had one open and one closed. I like that too. Uh, you know, gives it the uh, gives it a little bit of contrast in in the way it looks. You know, some balance. This dude is wild. But I love how the clothes wings they look like they kind of wrap around him a little bit. That's what I love about it. Yeah. Yo. Whew. Wow. Well, you don't have to go I to the gym that, later. I think I think that open wings gives him that you know when the birds kind of like fluff their feathers mm -hmm. and it look like they fluffed out this looks more like fluffed this mm -hmm. one looks more like a straight kind of like i'm ready to fly like you know how the wind's hitting it, it's like all straight down it's like like he's stretching his wings like right. you can see but this looks like it has yeah i like this dude i like this a lot i like the close wings got poor baby collector in the house jason from jw statues is in the house what's up man yeah, this thing is bananas bro yeah, I think it looks badass. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. Do it, man. Zoom in. All right. Then table. All right. So. I am going to do a good job like I did last time. That's what I'm talking about. You impressed me last time, bro. I got off the camera and I was like, holy shit, Junior knows how to use the camera. Yo, that's freaking dope. Right there. Nice. All right. Dude, that bass is nice. Go back a little bit more. Boom. How's that for you guys? Good? Looks good to me. Let me see. Boom. All right, I'm going to turn on the buzzer here. All right, man. You sure it's going to be able to do it? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Susan is working. You got to give a name to Lazy Susan. <laughs> oh, I like how the birds are in the, on the side there like that. That's sick. See that shit? I don't know how to do that. The hieroglyphics and shit. Yeah, man, this is dope. Oh, now I got to go out and go get me one of these, base, these, these Lazy Susan bass. This is dope. I like that dude, you know, he was chill, let's do his job, talk about it. Damn. Yeah, man, that is ni that's nice the way you do it. It's, it's elegant, you know, I, I like how it gives it that, um, that, that muddy brick type of look to it. I love it. I like that it has all the, it has all the Egyptian carved in the heavy bottom. It has a sandstone look. That's that's the word I'm yeah, looking for. Yeah, it, it looks, looks good. Like rocky with sand. It looks really good. It looks like a real stonework. The gold on the birds, like gold. I like the eyes. Like it has like the ruins worn, like it's worn out ruins. Cause he's supposed to be like you know like one of those pharaohs. He's like two person kind of like comic book trying to write on with two personalities. Gerald Crow is asking, is there a light function on this at all? No. Okay. No. No. This thing is bananas, bro. So what I want to do is I'm going to stop it in the front here so we can get a little bit of a glimpse of the front before we get into the other stuff because you won't be able to see his size that much because of, um... all right, there we go. I like his skin tone, did a great job on the skin tone. All right, so here we go, boom. Junior is a pro, man. A little more. There we go. So the 
look at his leg right there. I want to try to zoom in a little bit on that. Wow. Look at the boots. Yeah, I can see it. Is there like hieroglyphics in the boots? See that? Is that what I'm seeing? Or is that just scuffing? Just scuffing and marks and they're looking okay. at gold. They're gold color. Okay, okay. Yeah, you see? Yeah. This chin here did a great job. The detail, the back of the boots like all scraped up and worn down. The rest of the boots are like worn down and scraped up. This looks like metal. Nice. Metal stuff there. I like that piece there. God damn. Right. For fourteen hundred dollars, this isn't bad. Especially you considering how big it is. Yeah. Look at the detail on the wings, bro. Noxus is asking if you could do some measurements once we get done with all of the uh, the close-ups. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That sure has them. They actually have them, but I'll give it to you. Make sure that you uh, you have those ones. Right. Boom. This looks like real metal here. Sculpted. This is sculpted right here. This looks. Like this. Yeah, it has that chain mail effect. That looks yeah. good. I like how the hand wrappings really look like like material. That looks. Yeah, this is sculpted. Man, that looks like like fabric. This is sculpted. This is all sculpted. I like the veins. Yeah. I love the shoulder on them. Let me see if I can. Let me the see mallet what... has like like damage in it. Yeah, it has dented. It has yeah, dented. it's dope. It's dope. And dents in it. It's metal too. Very cool. I like it very much. Um, let me see something here. And then five of those biceps too. Do a great job on that too. Like that. Yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah, good job on the body. Look at that. Shoulder pads look sick. Yeah, this dude, this looks this looks sick. He has like the metal mesh. You can see a little bit coming on the side there. I like the, that feature right there. That's nice. See that? That's good. There. And and then manscapes. See, let me see. I'm gonna turn this a little bit the way it is now. But look, look at, look at that. Look yeah, at that. that's dope. Look at that. I'm gonna go this way a little bit. Look at the detail. Yeah. Yeah. Paint looks nice too. Yeah, it did an amazing job on this thing. Yeah, it's badass. And then we'll give you a shot of the back with the wings. Let me go up to his face coat. Yeah, it's dope. I don't think this thing even needs to swap out, but that would be the only thing that I would, if I had to, to pick at it, you know, I would say that it would be nice if it had a, a an optional swap out for a different portrait, different style portrait. But I'm, I'm okay with it just like this. I don't need to swap out. <laughs> Yeah, this is, look at that. Look at that face go. <laughs> Red Hood says even those nipples look good. <laughs> man, look at that shit, man. That, it just, it, look at that. It has like a beard, like the beard going in. I was going to say that, Seth. The chest logo reminds me of Thundercats. Look at this. Look at the eyes. Look, look at the eyes. Yeah. Very well done. I'm gonna go to the back here so you can see, and you don't see no seams on the, the. Look at the back, bro. Look at the way the back looks right there. Oh, nice. They hide the seams yeah. for the wings. See that? Mm-hmm. Let, let me back this out a little bit here so you guys can see this. You're not that it would matter. You're not gonna see that part, but wow. Yeah. yeah. No see no seams. A little blurry. There it goes. No, never mind. Never mind. Ah, damn it. See it? There you go. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at the wings. How many swap outs altogether? There's only the wings, really, that you could swap out. Yeah, yeah. Swap, which I'm okay with that, man. I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna back it out a little bit here so you guys can see the back of the wings. That shit looks dope. 
Dark Ranger Seven is asking: Is there a small hole in the logo? Is that supposed to be battle damage? And the small hole in the logo where? In the in the logo on the chest. Ah uh, no, that's like the little eyes. Oh okay. On the hawk. Okay. Feel the back of the wings on that. And the butt shot. And then I'm gonna zoom in on those uh, boots there. Back of his boots look dope too. Look at that. Straps on his boots. Yeah. And there's the O-ring that, that the sword has to go through. Yeah, that's the O-ring. And I, I got to know if I have to talk. I'll make sure I got to clip it, but I want to take my time with it. Yeah. Focus on that. On the boots, dude. Dope. Yeah, it looks like real leather. Yeah, loving it, loving it, loving it. Then I'm going to give you a shot of the wings. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the detail on that. Yeah, it's hot. Nice work. Do that. Yeah, I like how they, they gave it some good shading and paint. Looks like it's they got, more, they got some levels of colors in there. Yeah, browns and blacks. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's done really well. And then the spear. Let me show you the spear. Lazy lovers in the house. Look at the spear. All the battle damage. Yeah, that's dope. Look at the spear. And it's like, nah, it's not a solid color. It's like rust. Yeah. See that? Mm-hmm. Then, um, let's see something here. Uh, Dark Ranger Seven is asking who sculpted this. I saw this over did it. Did a freaking amazing job. All right, so they want measurements, right? Yeah. All right. So from the top to the top of the wings, you're looking about a little bit less than. 37. Okay. So, width from the base, because I don't count this in the nose, they usually count the base. You can always do that. It's about 16 and a half all the way around. Okay. So, you have that. I know what the open wings is 50 inches wide. Okay. So, that's what you have. Because you can't get no depth on this. On the width, it's the same thing. But if you do with the with the uh, wings closed, mm -hmm. you probably need about a good 24 inches wide with the wings. Okay. With the closed wings. So you're going to need a wide space because the base is more over the wings will go over to the base. So you'll need right. about 24 inches and you need to put them in a best up. I will work is 18. This will be 16 from here. So the nose will probably stick out at the wings. Yeah, that's not something I would put in a Besta. No. That's why I built these bottom pieces. This bottom. Mm -hmm. Custom shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. This Collector is Stone says it could be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> See this here? Yeah, that's pretty. That's impressive. Right? Mm-hmm. That is an impressive statue. I'm loving this, bro. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. I don't blame you, man. That's pretty neat. I think I'm going to leave one with the closed wings, bro. I love the closed wings, bro. Yeah, I like the closed wings, too. This looks good, dude. I don't know, it gives him more. I mean, I like the wings because it looks, man, like he's opening his wings, but this looks like, this is Hawkman to me. Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, when he, you know, he one of the, one of the later ones to join Justice League. No, no I, I agree. The, the closed wings give it, give it a little more character, I think. Yeah, it gives him, don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. See it's that? Peace, man. Yeah, man, I can't wait to battle. 
I don't know. I don't know. Wait. I was going to put him on the left side here mm -hmm. with his wings open until, you know, I get the other pieces. But I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to envision putting all the Batman good guys on this side where Batman Hush is and then putting all the villains on this side. Let me ask you a question, though, man. You got the entire Justice League in quarter scale, basically. And so is your plan now to continue down the one-third line and get all of the Justice League in one-third scale, too? Yes. I'm trying to get, remember the, I, I should have got on my, I should have got it in New York Comic Con, but, you know, I held myself. I'm, I'm actually looking for the, remember the one-third High Studios Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman, yeah, that's a nice one, too. Yeah, so I might try to go into that one and get it in the aftermarket. Because I already got Superman, Batman, Hawkman. If I can get her, if I can get you know, um, Wonder Woman, I'm in great shape now. Are they going to make a Green Lantern this way or an Aquaman? You know, uh, comic book? I don't know. I mm -hmm. mean, but I, I would like to. I would like to try to get the whole Justice League. Because I want to put all Batman on this side and Batman related on this side. And then the back's going to be Superman. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to, I got the black su Superman. Right. I'm probably one that's going to go on the right of Doomsday. And then I got General Zod and Cyborg that are going to go on each end corner at the back. All right. And then the rest of it's going to be, you know, with Deathstroke on this side, try to get some villains and do some villains on this side. And that being that being that uh, being down Batman, but that's like a separate piece. It really doesn't, you know, so you can put it together, see what it looks like. But yeah, this looks good, dude. This is a real piece. I love this fucking, this one, this, I think this is just my, my, my favorite piece in this room. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that thing, thing is badass. This thing is badass, bro. This thing is badass, man. Nice. This thing is badass. I'm like in awe right now just looking at it. Yeah, this is badass. I can't wait for you to come over, dude. I know. <laughs> Paul Westwood is saying, what do you think? Statue of the Year 2020? Will this be hard to I beat? think so, bro. Yeah. I think so, bro. I think so, man. This is breathtaking, bro. I think I think if anybody comes in my room, I'm my 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 wife hasn't seen this. I think when you come in my room, this is gonna take your whole lights. Like it's gonna these wings are gonna bring your your eyes to it. Mm. This is gonna be yeah. This is gonna be a good centerpiece here. Yeah, this is gonna be great, dude. Nice. Yeah, this is, yeah I can't wait, dude. I'm gonna keep on with his closed wings. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm okay without not messing with the sword for now. I can put the sword away. I don't need to eat so little bit without the sword. Put the, put the stick on him and he'll be good to go. He already got a mallet in the right hand and he has a screen on the other. <laughs> he's good to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like right now, just look, he's giving a thumb up, thumbs up. And you know what? And his, and, his, and his mask looks like 3D and it's not sculpted to his face. You know that, right? Yeah, it looks like it's, it's resting on top of it. Yeah, like he really put on a mask. So yeah. you can actually see the detail around everything in there, dude. You can see his face still go up to the top of the hat, dude. They did a great job with that. Made it look to me. It's not sculpted to the to, to the skin. Lazy Lover's asking me if I'm going to pick it up. No, bro. <laughs> I want to I, I want to have a place to sleep at night. <laughs> I don't I don't need my wife chewing on my ass on this one. This is I don't even know what the fuck I want to put the wings. Yeah, bro. That thing is big. I don't know where I'm gonna put these extra parts. <laughs> I mean, I love this statue. I, I love the way this thing looks. This thing is fantastic. I got hands down, really awesome. But it, the size of this thing, I would probably sooner get the Prime One Studio Superman over this, only because it, they're both really big pieces. So. Yeah, but, Superman. Superman is a more character that you see, but this one yeah. is a rare. This one's a rare man. I don't and that's true too. It's like for me, like you, like you're able to collect the Justice League, and that's awesome. I, and bro, that's so sick that you're able to get them all, and and I, and I love that. But yeah. for me, it's like I would get the the main guys, and and I'm good with that. I don't I don't need to have the rest of them. But th this is badass, man. But this it's is impressive. Purple. Badass, and second of all, it's a red piece. Nobody has made this, bro. I and yeah, I get it, and I and I. That's just why. Also, I went for it too, man. I, you know, I you know, I was like, you know what? When I saw it, I was like, wow. And I would have been not, not so great. I would have probably not to. But this piece is is only two hundred. Number one, but I didn't care about that. I cared about this thing. When I saw this thing, I was like, wow, I gotta have that fucking thing. But this thing right here is like a red piece, man. Whoever, I don't know who, who, who's gonna make. A Hulk man, I mean, uh, Brian Wan might be the only one. I doubt it. They can't even do these. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I agree so, with you. You know, this is going to be, I don't think you're going to see another Hulk uh, one-third scale for a long time. Yeah, it's not a character that people jump on so often. 
Yeah, and if they make Hulk girl, fool, dude, I am copping her to go with him. He's going. He's gonna. He's gonna get his girlfriend. True. Yeah, you met, you met him. You met him. Him on one side of Batman and her on the other side of Batman. Woo. That cool. Yeah, it's gonna look dude, dude. Yeah, this is this is this is my point, bro. Nice, bro. Get to a uh, room to a number two. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's a good start to to the year, bro. It's great. Yeah, bro. And then uh, Deathstroke coming in the next one. Nice. Yeah, Deathstroke from Prime One Studios to to look at too. Very cool. Next one, so. Yeah, man. So everybody liking it? Everybody's thoughts. And yes, thank you no. for everybody, you know, saying congrats to me. Sorry I've been with the statue. I haven't been looking at the chat, but thank you for joining us for this. We always appreciate you guys showing up. And um, thank you for everybody that said congrats to me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, this is, this is, dude, this is, yeah, Divine. Yeah, I picked up one-fourth of skill, uh, Hulk girl from SciShow. I picked her up, too. But she becomes a Justice League too. So I picked her up to make uh, a lineup for Justice League. Yeah, you saw that whole girl, that George. From yeah, I've seen her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grabbed her too. Again, those are rare pieces that they hardly ever make. So you know, if it looks good, I'll grab it. But if it doesn't look good, I I, I could pass. But that whole girl they did, the the face scope was amazing on that whole girl. True. Yeah, dude. Look how this thing, how big it is next to me, bro. Dude, this is, this oh. is, this is good. Yeah, I think he's badass. Dude, I could just sit here and watch him turn around for a couple of more hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the next stage that, up, right? This is the thing that if I, if, my, if I had a space upstairs and I could put this on my center table, my wife would do it and let me do it, I'll have this thing on the spinner all day. <laughs> 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 this thing is like bananas, bro. There you have it, guys, man. Junior is happy. I am stoked, dude. This is this is dope, dude. This is dope. It's dope. It's dope, 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 dope. All right. Thank you, man. Woo. That was fun. All yeah. right, guys. Thank you guys again for joining us for another statue live unboxing with my man Junior Statue Collector. Please tune in soon. We're gonna be coming out with another statue unboxing or review something <laughs> what's popping is definitely tomorrow so stay tuned for that Seth is definitely sure to entertain you guys so thanks guys for joining us please give us a thumbs up like subscribe do all that cool stuff that you guys have been doing we really appreciate it and stay tuned for the next video the next train from MCE and until next time keep it marvelous keep it marvelous choo -choo! MCE train has left the building choo -choo! we're out <laughs>